Well, let's play here on Steam Deck the game The Crew, the city, the second Everest game. Lakers. In this event, you'll see New York taken over by racers in a way you never could have imagined. It's not just a city, it's a playground for the best pilots and drivers of today and tomorrow. So, as I said, I have here the second game, the crew, this is it, and um, let's play it at this moment using um, medium settings, and I have the shadows, by the way, set to low, but you can play this game uh, in various ways. Either you can uh, lower even more the settings and you can increase um, the frame rate uh, the frame rate because now you have 45 something li like that or you can play with high graphics and uh, the game set to, to 30 frames. As I said, I have here on the Steam Deck uh, Windows installed. this is it. Um, because uh, this game... Uh, you can play it only via Windows. I have the Windows installed on micro SD card, so uh, my main operating system is still SteamOS. But uh, at this point, uh, I decided to try this game because it's impossible to play it on SteamOS. And um, as you see, with medium settings, you get 40, 45 frames. Talented newcomers have a shot at taking on established stars and a chance to impress all the racing teams out here. And believe me, they're watching. And just as important, they need to generate excitement. That's how fans flock to them. And that's what it's all about, right? Become a racer, steal the show, and see your follower numbers soar. You know, I really don't get why, uh, I really don't get it why uh, Ubisoft doesn't make this game available on SteamOS. Soaring, get a load of that jump. There you have it, folks. The numbers are going through the roof. So at this moment, uh, the only way uh, to play it is on Windows. I have Windows 10 here. I decided uh, to go back to Windows 10 because um, you cannot play FIFA 23 on Windows 11 here on Steam Deck. And that's why uh, that's why uh, I went back from uh, Windows 11 to Windows 10. So um, what can I say? It's a beautiful experience. I mean, um, with Windows. And I'm still thinking um, if I should install, install, install Windows as my main operating system. So, uh, what do you think? Uh, Windows uh, is a better experience uh, on Steam Deck or SteamOS? But that's not the only way. Do a spectacular stud. Please like write this, in the comments the what is your running. favorite operating system out. here on Steam Deck. So uh, let's let's put the game on uh, low settings to see what happens. Um, So at this point we have the, the game set to low settings and let's see if we get 60 frames. So we have 54 frames but the game doesn't look the same uh, as it did on medium settings but still if this is uh, more import, uh, uh, oh, it has a higher uh, uh, value for you, the frame rate, it's, uh, if it's so important, you can play it with low graphics, I mean, um, 
let's set it to high graphics and let's see what happens okay we will get 42 frames but hey this is through, something else i believe we're watching a new star exploding onto the circuit the game looks gorgeous and um let's try something else let's go here and let's put this to ultra graphics shadows to medium texture textures to ultra depth of field to maximum motion blur i don't like it And let's play the game with maximum settings at this point. Let's see um, how is the frame rate. Okay, we get 37 frames. This is, uh, this is impressive. And uh, because at this point I have the game on ultra settings, um, I will uh, lock the frame rate to 30 frames. For a smoother experience. This is how it is these days. Just being a good pop. Let's go here and let's set it like this. Well, it isn't enough anymore. You've got to shine on and off the course, staying sharp on the social media side. It's simple math. The more followers you have, the more followers you'll get. Sign on with your first racing team, and the second will start looking at you. Pile up supporters, and the contracts will be knocking on your door. To put it another way, a driver who attracts enough followers will open up new styles of racing. We call them disciplines. You'll call them awesome. And isn't awesome what we're all after? Hey, <laughs> I don't get it. Whoa, so how to control this? No way, this is crazy, <laughs> probably I'm missing something. Retry, okay. Anyway, it's more than impressive to see the game running with ultra graphics, um, with 30 frames on a on a handheld to the device. City that never sleeps. In this event, and you'll see New York taken over by racers in a way you never could have imagined. And it's okay, it seems city. that we have it's to restart the, the entire event. I don't today. get it. Tomorrow. Let's see. Let's see the controls for uh, for the plane. the first episode of this year's live extreme series in this new season talented newcomers have a shot at taking on established stars and a chance to impress all the racing teams out here and believe me they're watching and just as important they need to generate excitement that's how fans flock to them and that's what it's all about right become a racer steal the show and see your follower numbers soar Soaring, get a load of that jump. There you have it, folks. The numbers are going through the roof.
And now live goes to the extreme. By the way, at this uh, at this moment, I have the game installed on external hard drive. As you probably uh, already know this. Game followers by winning, of course, but that's not the only way. Do a spectacular stunt like this, and the fans will come a running. Check it out. two-thirds of the way through, and I believe we're watching a new star exploding onto the circuit. We kick it up a notch for the grand finale. Okay, let's see how to control the plane. What? I don't have a, a map. Airplane, okay. So accelerate, brake, left trigger. Turn left, turn right. Okay, D this is what I did. <laughs> this is how it is these days. Just being a good pilot isn't enough anymore. You've got to shine on and off the course. Staying sharp on the social media side. It's simple math. Okay. The more followers you have, the more followers you'll get. Sign on with your first racing team, and the second will start looking at you. Pile up supporters, and the contracts will be knocking on your door. To put it another way, a driver who attracts enough followers will open up new styles of racing. We call them disciplines. Y'all call them awesome. And isn't awesome what we're all after? Okay, so I can sense a rush of followers coming, can't you? From the heart of New York City, this was the Live Extreme Series, Episode 1. Thank you for watching, and remember to follow us on all social media. So this is the experience with the game um, here on Windows 10. I mean, it's a beautiful experience. You can play the game as you saw with uh, low settings, medium, even with maximum ultra graphics. And you can play it with uh, 30, 30 frames. Uh, so uh, this is uh, more than impressive, uh, I would say. So um, it, depend, it depends on you how you want to, to play it. 
from my perspective, I will play with 30 frames and ultra graphics because the game looks impressive. And um, for those of you still saying that uh, you can play the game with low graphics, why do you increase the graphics? I believe you saw in the beginning how bad the game looks with low graphics compared with medium high or even ultra so uh, my advice every time play the game with maximum graphics that you can uh, achieve and uh, lower the frame rate because here on steam deck the experience is smooth and uh, very uh, very fine um,